this is Kirsten Todd. I'm in the great car, Jonathan Todd. It's so stuffy back here. But first, before I complain, I must build a shelter. This is my finished shelter. Now it will keep you protected. Now I must go hunt for my food. Oh, if you look over there, you can see the Catherine Todd. She's a stealthy animal and she eats lots of fruit snacks. Now, if you're gonna get it, you have to crouch down like a frog and then slowly attack, like, yeah, and take it from her. Now I have food. Now I must go back to my shelter. Now I have my shelter and my fruit snacks. Now I must have my protection from wild animals, like my seatbelt. It defends animals in different cars. I'm all set. Now I just need a fire. It's gonna get her. Now in order to build a fire, you must tell yell to the driver. Hey driver, turn the AC up. Okay. Ah, toasty war. Now that's a good fire. Now just in case your phone ever runs out of battery, you might have to find a power outlet. Power is hard to find in the car, so you have to look at unusual places, like right there. You just open it up, then put it there, and then you charge your phone, and then voila, you can find the time again. <laughs> if a giant walrus ever comes in your car, here's what you have to do. You have to take the nearest seat rest and pull it out of its socket. It might take a little strength. And then she do it and start banging on the seats. It's afraid of loud noises. Whenever somebody farts in the great car of Jonathan Todd, what you have to do is you have to reach around and roll down the window. Like that's to get the smell out. Like this. See? Clean air again. Now if you look closely, there's a man stalking us. What you have to do is just get a water bottle and drink it. Like this. The water always helps. That's some good water. See? Now the stock is farther behind us. We're fine. Daddy, I have to pee. We just stopped. We're not gonna stop again. You gotta hold it. Now, whenever you have to pee, all you have to do is just wiggle around, trying and reduce the impulse to urine, and just and then if there's any snakes in, just go ahead and pee in that. And then you can drink it later. It's pretty good. Use this empty bottle. It may not be that safe, but at least it will comfort you. The great Catherine is now taking care of business. Let's go check up on her. I'm done! Oh great, I've been waiting for some urine. My favorite. If one of your headlights ever go out, drink some urine. If uh, you ever get bored in the car, just drink some urine. If the people up front ever start talking about politics, pour some urine on them and then lick it up. If a flaming hippo ever comes out of a tree, drink urine. If the driver ever falls asleep, give him urine and tell him it's lemonade. If you run out of oil in the car, pour some urine in it. If your parents are ever get a divorce while you're in the car, drink urine. If you ever don't have a cup holder for your urine, make one out of this urine. If a song comes on the radio with some dirty words, pour urine on it. If your siblings are fighting for your, for your space in the car, just mark your territory with your urine. But watch out, it's very delicious so they might drink it. Warm urine has more vitamins and minerals than cold urine. This is my drop off point, the old beat up shack. But remember, shoes are for chumps, so never wear them. No, no, you gotta wear shoes, there might be nails. Fine. Off to my drop-off point.